to another video i hope you're all doing okay i'm sorry for the sound quality it's so echoey in here like i need to like get some more furniture because it's just too echoey for my liking but yes how are you all i hope you're all okay i'm sorry that i've not posted as much recently i've been super busy now that obviously we're back doing clients and i've got some other stuff that i'm working on as well that is just taking up a lot of time um, yeah, it's just super busy with clients at the moment, which I'm definitely not complaining about. Um, but when, obviously I work full time as well. So I obviously work full time, then I do like my clients most weekdays and weekends and just trying to find the time to film and edit. Like it's usually just on a Sunday. Um, so yeah, basically this video that I'm about to show you now is some clips put together of my new nail space. You'll probably notice I'm in a little bit of a different background. Um, I'm in my new nail space now. It's not completely finished. Um, I've still got a few bits that I want to add to it, but it is very nearly there. And it's so exciting. I'm actually in love with it. Um, and I can't wait to show you all. Um, like I say, these clips that I've gonna, I'm going to show you in a minute, I basically put together from the, pretty much from the start of the year and um, it has taken a while to get it to how it is now um, so yeah it's basically going to start with this being a little bit of a shell um, and then I'll show you sort of like the process and um, how well I tried my best they're not great that I was hoping they were going to be a little bit better I'm not going to lie um, but yeah so hopefully um, yeah you find it interesting and once it's all done, I'll give you a little bit of a tour and um, show you where everything's from. And obviously just let you know a few little bits that I want to add to it. And I'll probably do a part two um, with the stuff that I've added to it. And yeah, I've wanted to do a nail room tour for so long, but I've not had like my proper nail room, if that makes sense. Um, how I knew I wanted it. I was sort of like living from like boxes and stuff. And it was just, it was not a good situation. So anyway, I'm going to stop waffling now and yeah, we'll start from the very beginning. It's an empty little shell, but it is done. We had some insulation just delivered, but I'll just show you. I'm going to go in. This is my little cute ass little key ring from um, my friend. The little rainbow one is from Bella Bees. So we've had the insulation panels delivered in. So these are gonna be fitted this weekend. And then the electrical work is not gonna be done until a week on Sunday. So um, I will obviously keep you guys updated. But yes, so this is where we're up to at present. So the electrics have been done now and he's obviously got to come back to do another visit but it's all been boarded well sort of um there's a few extra little bits that need doing so and then we are going to be having the second fitting for the electrics and then it'll be down um to paint well fill in and sand down and everything and then it will be down to painting so yeah so we are quite a while later now. We had a few delays and stuff, but everything is filled now. So I'm just gonna basically start painting in a second.
so we've finished off the last few bits of painting today so that's very exciting and i swear i keep forgetting that the floor is actually done um but it is so i'm gonna pull these um up now but yeah how exciting still a few little things that need to change i need to change that white socket there and the same on this side there's going to be um like a heater going on the wall here um and obviously the shelves need putting up and stuff but So yeah, that's where I basically filmed up to. I have obviously got all of my stuff in here now. Um, and I wanted to film that process as well, just like getting everything in. That's why it happened so fast. Like we had so many weekends go by that I thought, oh, maybe we could finish it this weekend. And then something would come up that we couldn't like, we couldn't finish it. And then this one random weekend, like we just got so much done. And before I knew it, it was literally, it was literally finished and like I completely forgot. I got that excited that I just wanted everything to be done. Like I forgot to film like the process of putting everything in. But like, to be honest, what's in here now, like there's not an awful lot to sort of show you getting put up and stuff. Like obviously um, I've got my new desk that um, I did a few videos on TikTok. Um, if you don't already follow me, go and have a look. It's at Leo Room by G, and I basically put quite a few TikToks together to be fair, um, of like different um, things in my nail room and stuff, and you sort of like showing you where everything was from. Um, but yeah, so this is where we're at now, but I will give you a little tour. I love how I say tall, like it's massive, it's really not. But yeah, so I've basically got my desk. Just in the middle, um, the desk is um, from Costco. I actually love it. It is so much bigger than what I basically had before. I'd easily say my desk before was half the size. So it's like now having like a big desk is so much easier. The glass at the top is glass, um, which I really like because it's really nice to keep clean. The only thing I would say is that I've scratched it already and I've had it. I've had it in here for about two weeks. So yeah, so that's the desk. The desk does actually, it's like height adjustable as well. So if you come round this side, it's basically got like some uh, buttons on here where you can move the desk upwards or move it down uh, if you need it to, like whichever obviously you wanted it to. Obviously got like USB ports in there and stuff, which I just keep some charges in. Obviously if I need like, any ring lights and stuff, I'll plug them in there. Um, it has got a little drawer here. I don't use it though because it's not very um, deep and like the inside of it is like suede. So I'm like, it's just gonna get ruined. So I don't use that really. So yeah, that's the desk. I get actually a, a few questions about um, this extractor fan that I use as well. It's like a hand rest on one side and obviously the extractor fan on the other. So that's really useful. That was from um, a website called Max4U Pro. I put a little um, text box in the corner. Um, but yeah, so I basically changed my chair as well. I know it looks like a bit office-y. It's not like 100% what I wanted. But, oh my gosh, the difference in, like, I, in my back is ridiculous. Like, it's, it's a lot more comfortable. So, yeah, and, and to be fair, like, it's great for, like, when I'm not doing clients. Obviously, like, I'm in here now editing. So, yeah, it's, a low, it's like, quite a lot better. Um, then, obviously, over here, we've got my beauty trolley. I did do a little video on that, like, of me building it and um like organize it and stuff so you will have seen that in my previous video even though it looks a complete mess right now because it didn't stay organized for long <laughs> and then going in the corner obviously i've got like these drawers here um they are actually from a bedroom upstairs they're not um staying in here i need to get some new ones i've got obviously my gel bottles on the wall um on like a little picture ledge the the actual um these shelves that they're on, they're actually like a picture ledge from Ikea. Um, so, but you can fit loads on there. Like I could easily fit like another row. And this, like this obviously bottom shelf is full as well. I've got a third one, but 
these were all the gels that I had and obviously there wasn't any point in me putting a third shelf up when I don't need it yet because I'll definitely buy more. <laughs> so yeah, so I've just got like three drawers at the moment. I'm definitely gonna need some more storage, but for the time being, they are fine. This corner is just like a little bit of a mess at the moment because I want to get some corner shelves to go in the other corners. So like this corner hasn't got anything on it at the moment. I want to get some corner shelves there. I've just got these little waiting chairs on both sides. So that's everything in here at the moment. Obviously I've got some bare walls at the minute. So this wall and this wall are bare, but on this wall I'm gonna be getting, um, I want to get some mirrors. So I wanna get like square ones and then like put like six. So like one, 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 one. Um, so it looks like one big mirror. Um, so that's the plan for that wall. And then the back wall, why is my camera gone off focus? Um, the back wall, I'm gonna get some prints for there. So I want like three prints in a row. Um, and that's the plan for the back wall. Um, but obviously I'm yet to um, put them up. But like I said, I'm gonna do a second part with like some changes that I've made to it. And then here I've just got some plants. The plants, the hanging plants and the pots were both from Ikea. I think they were around about six pound. They really weren't expensive. And then these little shelves that they're on are from B&M. And I don't think they were expensive either. Um, like I say, they were from B&M. So it wouldn't have been anything too crazy. Um, and then I've just got like a, like a little heater on the wall. This actually sort of matches with the glass desk because the front of this is glass. Um, and I wanted to like them to sort of match, but this looks a little bit like gray and that looks white but whatever it was close enough <laughs> so yeah that's currently how it looks at the moment um i do need to get some blinds for these windows as well so i want to get some blinds upon there um obviously on my desk got my gel bottle lamp i've got my clamp here for when i'm filming um obviously my e-file um a drunk coffee and the candle that i haven't lit yet um so yeah and also I started, I bought like a little phone holder and it was only from Primark and um, basically for clients because when like they pick up their phone with wet nails, it gives me anxiety. So yeah, <laughs> um, but yeah, that's everything at the moment. Obviously I have like this topper, which you will have seen in my um, video with like my appointment book on and stuff. Um, and my swatch book as well. I've got my candle and my wax melt burner on. Um, I get my wax melts from my friend. She has um, like a wax melt company uh, called It's Home by Hope. She does more than just wax melts as well. So have a look. But yeah, so that is everything, how it looks at the moment. But like I say, I'm definitely gonna be adding some more stuff. So yeah, that is pretty much everything. I don't think I missed anything. Obviously, if there's anything that I showed you that I didn't say where it was from, I think I pretty much went for everything. But just let me know and um, I will pass you the link if I can find it or tell you where it's from. But yeah, so that's pretty much everything. I hope you enjoyed the video. Like I say, I'm gonna be doing a part two with um, other stuff that I add to it and changes that I make and stuff um, so that you can see it when it's fully, fully completed. Like I say, it's a little bit like, needs a few bits added into it right now. But as it is, I'm so pleased with it. It's so nice to have like my own space and stuff. And um, yeah, it's just a hell of a lot better. Um, I know my clients love it as well and it's just, it's just like, it's taken a while, but it was like so worth the wait. Um, but yeah, so I hope you enjoyed the video. And again, I'm sorry for it being a while since I last posted, but I will try and keep you updated with everything. I'll try and get some videos out to you um, more often. And yeah, I think that's pretty much everything. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. Uh, please remember to like and subscribe because it really helps as well. And if you want to follow me on my Instagram or TikTok, they are both at The Nail Room by G. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.